And the name's Perry. Wayne Perry. Licensed to drill. I've gone for this waterproof sail, which costs about £40. And what's great, you can angle it so the rain runs straight on. And make sure you leave a little bit of slack to allow the weather to move through it. So simple. And now we've got a waterproof space. The timber I'm using for this arbor is redwood. It's an external wood, so it's not going to rot. For the vertical bits, I'm going to be using this three inch by three inch. So these good and strong, it's going to support the whole thing. Bits of timber I'm going to use for the seat, it's three by two. Make sure it's angled that way, so the seat's on top of it, so the strength is in, in the three inch there. These are the planks that I'm going to use for your seat, and it's all nice and plain, so you're not going to get splinters on your bum. But also, do a little bit for the environment. If we want to get that target of net zero in 2050, yeah. we need to do that. Exactly. So how, how do you know if you need to insulate? What are the top tips? You know when you walk around your house. There's certain rooms in your house that you know are just <laughs> naturally a bit chilly. I'm always cold. <laughs> always cold, always <laughs> feeling it, always I'm feeling always wearing it. wearing a dressing gown. <laughs> Wayne Perry explains how that drill, yes, the one we've all got hiding in the bottom of your toolkit, how it can even be turned into a hammer. <laughs> See how he's got on. Good Lord, that's sturdy. Ta-da! Oh, he's a ton! <laughs> <laughs> um, you wanted a bird table, I've made you a bird table. Yeah, it is lovely. And what I love about it, I've only used two tools. I've used a saw and a drill. Yep. And I just wanted to say that you can make something like this with just simple tools. You don't need all the big cutting power tools. So I'm just going to attach this onto the top so it doesn't go anywhere. Good news for Barbara. Her room divider is ready to install. Nice. That was good. And then we'll just spike and pin them. We'll edge all over it. He's definitely echoing the theme. One thing a lot of people may not know about you is you have a larger, big background in musical West End theatre, don't you? Yes. You used I to do. be a performer. I did for 10, 10 15 years in the yeah. West End, along with my wife as well. Yeah. Yeah. Excited that theatres are back then. Oh, absolutely. Sure. My wife's in Frozen at the moment, so we watched really? press night last week oh, with my brilliant. daughter and just to see her up there. Wow. Happening. Offer this up ah. to your plasterboard wall. Hold it, make sure it's straight because you've only got one chance to do it. And then with a firm push, push it ah. into the wall and it'll stain. I oh, can't believe that. That is good. It's and, a good one. And not too much mess after no. if you want to. If you're in rented accommodation, it's perfect because you can oh. actually just pull it off and you're left with two little pin. Cards. Are you one of those people that goes to other people's houses and goes up to the pictures and goes, oh, as you walk in? <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. done it in restaurants. Yeah. I can't <laughs> <help it. laughs> That's brilliant. <laughs> Lovely stuff.